All right, so it's that time of the year when brands are busy preparing the latest Android updates, as the situation is still kind of bad for most OEMs. But I've been trying to share whatever becomes available for you guys, so that you can also be on the same page. And on that note, here's the Android 12 based Color West 12 or Oxygen S12, kind of. And here are my first impressions with it. By the way, before we start, a tap on that subscribe button would really motivate me in making more videos like this one and will keep you up to date with all the latest videos from the channel. Also, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel just in case you want to watch this one in Hindi language. First up, it is a build from the closed beta program in China, so don't expect any updates on this or even ultimate stability as it is bound to have bugs and the battery life might not be that good. And also this one has quite a lot of bloatware, so keep all these things in mind before you even try this one. Plus the way to install this one is at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that and make sure you take a backup before trying this, though it will not format your data. First up right from the boot animation, you will get this new OnePlus boot logo. And moving further well, there is a lot of bloatware inside this ColorOS, so I had to remove quite a lot of things. The home screen and UI here is also pure ColorOS-ish which you will probably see in Oxynos 12 as well, minus the bloatware of course. So yeah, that's how things are going to be for now. But for what it's worth, the animations feel a lot smoother and the UI is snappier with better haptics at places. So while I'm not a fan of this far from stock UI, it seems well optimized even for a beta version. Plus the dark mode which used to be grey on Oxynos is totally pitch black on this one. And it wasn't hard to implement it but it just looks great overall. Also it reduces that purple fringing that we used to see on Oxygenos here and there. Plus this also has three kinds of dark mode which is good to have. Also the google feed on home screen is missing from this china only alpha build so keep that in mind. Oh and some of you must be wondering about auto call recording and other google applications. Well you don't need all that as it comes inbuilt with its own dialer application that has the auto call recording feature and it records each and every call without any issues. So you don't need any OnePlus dialer contacts and anything like that. And many of you will appreciate the convenience it provides. Next up, well the camera application is also similar to what you get with Oxygen OS 11. So the exact same UI and the way it works is also similar with a similar output. And it still has the same issues that were there, like that discoloration on 2x mode, well that is also still there on this one and I would have been happier to see improvements in that area, but typical OnePlus. Also here are the benchmark scores on this Color OS 12. First up on the Geekbench, the device has a score of 921 in single core and 3216 in the multi-core score, which is a bit better than what we saw on Oxygen OS 11's stable version. Similarly on the Android 2, the device scores around 665,000 points. Though as always, good benchmark scores don't mean it will be good in real world as well. Now jumping into the settings and the UI here looks a lot like what we had with Color OS 11 and that will stay kinda same on Oxygen OS 12 as well. Also the dual Wi-Fi acceleration mode is not there in this build or might have been removed, not entirely sure about that. But there is one new feature that can be seen and that is this PC Connect mode for which you have to download this PC Connect application from the OPPO website and it works like the My Phone application on Samsung devices. You can take notes, run applications when your phone is nearby and even copy clipboard stuff directly to your PC, which sounds cool, but it did not work flawlessly to be honest, which might be due to the beta nature of this color OS. In the personalized part, well there is a lot of stuff that you can tweak on your device, from a dedicated theme store that is useless and is in Chinese, to various always on display themes that look really good, and there are a bunch of options available for the always on display along with the canvas AOD. Also I might not like the UI, but I definitely like the in-display fingerprint animation, especially this Doctor Strange type one. It looks really neat and the fingerprint scanner also works fine for now. You also get a lot of multitasking tools like this sidebar that can open any of your apps in just one click from anywhere and this helps in quick switching between the applications. You also get bubble support from some of the popular applications like WhatsApp and Telegram and there is also this mini window option that can help you in multitasking and all these features combined can be really useful. The 100 mode is also there with this color OS 12 and it works more like pixel phones now. 
you also get fast face unlock with this one. Next up in the convenience tools, you get a lot of customizations to choose from, like the screenshot gestures, off screen gestures, screenshot controls and more. There is also an iPhone like assistive ball feature that helps you in doing many of the quick actions and it helps sometimes. You can also customize your quick launch apps and set it to anything you like, which is quite handy. And in the similar way, you get a lot of other features to choose from, like the scenario based enhancement in Dolby Atmos and other stuff. So feel free to explore even more. Lastly, the RAM expansion feature has also been introduced with this one. That will increase the system RAM to up to 3 GB if needed. And on these flagships, it is of no use, but it's good to have it nonetheless. So in the number of features, it is hard to say that something has been left out of this Color OS 12. And if you like custom UIs, this is a good option though, for better or for worse. This is the future of OnePlus phones. And I'm happy that they made whole system smooth and all that, but it is now nowhere near to stock. And the major selling point of OnePlus phones is now gone too, sadly. Now if I say on day to day tasks, well it has been fine for me. And there were some minor bugs in the UI here and there. And other than that, there was even 90 FPS support in BGMI. And the widewind level is L1. And lastly, applications like Google Play work just fine too. The battery life is something I am skeptical about as I am still testing this one. So let's see how it goes. So if you just don't care about anything other than trying out the latest from OnePlus, well feel free to try this one. And now, the process to install this one on your OnePlus 8T. Well that's actually really really easy. Just follow me and you don't need a PC or something for this. First up, you need to download the zip file from the link in description right here. And make sure you are on Oxygen OS 11, any version. Now after downloading the zip file, make sure it is not kept inside any folder. So cut it out and paste it in your internal storage. Now after that, all you have to do is go to settings, now go to system, click on system updates option and click on this gear icon on the top right corner. Now choose the local upgrade option from the list. And after that, choose the zip file we just downloaded and click on this OK button and your device will start installing ColorOS 12 on your OnePlus 8T. So now just wait till it's done and reboot your device and you are all set. Now it is quite possible that some of you might not like the ColorOS 12 and you wish to go back to OxygenOS 11. So that's alright too. Now all you have to do is download the application that I've provided in the description area and this will help you to install the rollback file. Also make sure you back up all your data first as this will erase everything from your device. Now you have to download the rollback zip that is mentioned in the description area itself. After this install the APK that we downloaded in the first place and now open this application and click on this gear icon on the top right corner. Now choose the rollback zip file that we downloaded in the previous step. Now click on the OK button and it will start installing this one on your device. And once it's complete it will ask you to reboot. So after rebooting you will be back to Oxygen OS 11. As simple as that. Anyways if you end up liking this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that like button while you are at it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.